After months of toying with the idea of running for president on the Reform Party ticket, the billionaire real estate developer has finally made a decision. I sat down with Donald Trump and asked him what he's going to do. I've made my decision. I'm not going to be running. The party is, as you know, self-destructing. Uh, Jesse has left, and that's a problem. And so I will not be running. Not running for the nomination of the Reform Party or not considering any run for the presidency this time around? Not considering a run. Nothing could change your mind with that? No, no. Totally not. When you say the party is self-destructing, what do you see as the biggest problem with the Reform Party right now? Well, you've got David Duke just joined. A bigot, a racist, a problem. I mean, this is not exactly the people you want in your party. Greetings, this is Chris Dorsey of the Virginia Militia. We're going to make this video about Donald Trump and how he is 100% owned by Jewish interests uh, that he owes billions of dollars to, and he could never pay that off, so basically he just sold himself, his character, and his image to these Jewish bankers. And uh, we're going to show some video from a CNN documentary about Donald Trump, and we're going to focus on a segment of this video in which Alan Pomerantz, who is a Jewish real estate lawyer uh, representing banks that Donald Trump owed $4 billion to and $1 billion personally to. Now, he owed $3 billion through his businesses and one billion, he had uh, um, he gotten he had borrowed using himself as the collateral. So we'll see how Pomerantz and the other Zionist Jews who run the New York real estate uh, and also international banking, television, entertainment, and all. Um, basically uh, owned Donald Trump. So we're going to comment on this, and we're going to hear the words directly from this Alan Pomerantz guy. And here's Julie, uh, 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 excuse me, uh, Julia Borgia um, interviewing him. Most other prudent real estate people, he had extended himself to the Trump shuttle, to a yacht, to a helicopter, and to a lot of things which weren't generating any cash flow. He had to support his lifestyle. So he was in trouble. He was in trouble. Who was he in trouble with? These Jew bankers. And that's why he's 100% compromised, besides the fact that he's a child molester and, and got caught uh, raping uh, um, uh, uh, underage uh, girls with Jeffrey Epstein. So, so they're talking about how Donald Trump was personally responsible. The leverage shifted dramatically over to the banks. Because it was no longer an issue of a bank and a piece of real estate. It was a bank in Donald Trump's actual survival. Trump owed money all over town to 72 banks in all. Mm -hmm. Lots of Jews there. As a group. How close was he to going personally? Listen to this. Very. Do you think you were going to go? Very. Very. Well, I didn't like thinking about it, but there was always that possibility. You, know, you owe billions and billions of dollars, and you uh, you have the more dangerous personal guarantee at nine hundred and seventy-five million dollars. And you know you can have wonderful assets and all, but the economy was a disaster. Real estate was in particular a disaster, and I certainly was in deep trouble. Trump makes the in point. In deep trouble with the Jews. Personally bankrupt, but there's a reason why the banks decided to keep Trump whole. We made the decision that he would be worth more alive to us than dead, dead meaning in bankruptcy. We don't want him to be a bankruptcy. We want him out in the world selling these assets for us. So you wanted him alive because he was a salesman and could best sell his own property. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. You have it all wrapped up. The Jews, they own Donald Trump. They had him by the short and curlies because... He had overextended himself, and he was working for them the whole time. His father was set up in business by Jews. He was set up in business by Jews. And when I mean Donald Trump, I mean uh, uh, was set up by Jews. And also his father, Fred Trump, was set up by Jews. 
And now when he got himself into trouble, when, they, when it was time for him to pay the piper, which is the Jews, they decided, hmm, he's worth more to us alive than dead. Hey, where does that sound familiar? Is that like the typical Jew, how they consider all of the, of the goyim? That uh, uh, in, in, unless that they are making money for Jews, then they should be dead. But uh, Donald Trump makes plenty of money for Jews. He's pushing forward this Jew agenda. And there you have it all wrapped up. This is Chris Dorsey, the Virginia Militia. Peace and God bless. <laughs>